First up, everyone, Holly Warlick is no longer the head coach of the Lady Vols. University of Tennessee Athletic Director Philip Fulmer making it official this afternoon. Fulmer saying that he is responsible for doing what he believes is best for the storied program built up by Lady Vols coaching legend Pat Summit. The success of the Lady Vols will always, always continue. Now, Holly Warlick's firing coming after an early exit from the NCAA tournament. Tonight, Jordan Kramer looking at Warlick's legacy and her last year on Rocky Top. Before the eight national championships, before the 17 SEC tournament championships and 18 regular season titles, Holly Warlick was a Tennessee Vol. Just a teenager when her association with the Lady Vols began, Warlick was a scholarship track athlete who ended up walking on to the basketball team. I started out as a kid from Knoxville, Tennessee with a dream. My dream, it came true. What followed was a career so prolific that it ensured the number 22 would never be worn again by a Lady Vol. Her jersey hangs in the rafters. She gave everything she had to Tennessee. Five years after graduating, she'd returned to Rocky Top as an assistant coach. She was there as Pat Summit's right hand during the glory years. There, too, when the program went through its darkest hours when Pat Summit was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And I need you right now, I want you to listen to this, to step up more than ever to support our new head coach, Holly Warlick. Warlick was left to fill the shoes of a legend. I don't think Holly ever got to grieve Pat's death because she stepped in right into Pat's shoes. And as anybody who followed John Wooden, Dean Smith, Whoever follows Nick Saban, when you follow someone like that, the shadow is long. Early on, SEC championship titles and Elite Eight appearances. The success not matched in what's now known as her final season. As Lady Ball fans, we're all so used to seeing us at a, at a, at a different standard. We hold, we hold our university, we hold our program at a different standard because of what Pat created and where she put us. And, you know, now that we're not where we are or where we used to be, people are just kind of up in arms about, you know, what's the next step. Warlick's last year at the helm included the wrong kind of firsts, a program-long losing streak, the lowest seeding in the NCAA tournament in program history. And while the program faltered, her love for the university never did. If I had a daughter, I'd send my daughter, whether I'm coaching or not, I'd send her to the University of Tennessee because they care about women. They care about women and you don't, that's what you want. You want a woman to have, have that opportunity to be successful and that's where you need to go. Warlick's 38 year association with the Lady Vols now over, but for four decades, she personified what it means to give your all for Tennessee. Thank you, Jordan. Interim University of Tennessee President Randy Boyd releasing a statement late tonight saying, quote, Join me in thanking the ultimate Lady Vol, Holly Warlick, for giving most of her life to UT. Lady Vols, basketball, and women's basketball. I've known Holly since our high school track days, but she always ran faster than me. Wishing the best for you in the future. Thank you, Coach. Meanwhile, a nationwide search for the Lady Vols' next head coach is underway. The university is saying that assistant coach Dean Lockwood would maintain operational oversight of the program until a hire is made.